How y'all doing? My name is Chris Hastings. I'm the chef and owner of the Hot Knot Fish Club. We're here to work on our blue crab dashi. Very excited about this dish. Let's go through the ingredients. The chicken stock and the crab broth. Then we have the katsuro bushi, the kombu, some of the tamale, both fresh and cooked from the crab. All these things are going to make a really, really rich broth. Let's start with a little light chicken broth. About two cups. This is our crab stock that we made from the steaming of our crabs earlier. This is the cooked tamale. Adds a lot of rich flavor there. This is the raw tamale from the crabs that we cleaned earlier. We're going to add a little bit of fresh thyme, just a sprig or two, a little bay leaf. We're going to bring all this to a boil. All right, so this has come to a boil. I'm skimming a little of the sediment off the top. At this point, I'm going to turn it off and just add the katsuobushi and the kombu. Terrific aroma. All right, let's go ahead and prepare the crab dashi. A little bit of peanut oil. Add our ginger. Bird pepper. Bok choy. Apple cabbage. Daikon. Long beans. All right, so at this point, we're going to add the blue crab. How amazing is that? Earlier, we had taken the kombu and the katsuo bushi, and we had added it to the broth. We let that sit for five minutes to develop that flavor. Now we're going to add that uh, to our crab dashi. Let this simmer for about five minutes, developing the flavors and letting the crab just cook through. All right, here we are, ready to plate the crab dashi. Really excited about this. Let's take a little bit of this beautiful picked crab meat, both the leg and the back fin meat. Take some of these pig skin noodles that we had cooked ahead earlier. You could use any kind of noodle if you don't want to do pig skin, I fully understand. A little more crab meat. Take a little bit of fresh basil, and if you like other fresh herbs, you can substitute whatever you want. A few more hot chilies. Got all this beautiful bok choy, and napa cabbage, and the daikon. We're going to take some pieces of the beautiful crabs. At this point, we're going to take just a little bit of that broth, pour it over. The last thing I'll do is just take a little fresh torn herbs, put it in there. And there you have it, the blue crab dashi from Mobile Bay, Alabama.